Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly WW Grocery Haul. So today's week is a little weird, it's actually Wednesday, but you guys are not gonna see this video until your normal Saturday grocery haul, but we actually have Easter dinner on Saturday because we are headed to Seattle to see the doctor for my husband on Sunday. So I'm gonna be spending all of Saturday morning prepping meal prep for the week, dinner with my family Saturday night, and then out the door Sunday to Monday to see the doctor. So it's a little convoluted mess of a week, but all in all, it's a good grocery haul. I went ahead and did Walmart grocery pickup. Again, just to save time, it was just easier to head there after work today and my groceries were ready to go. I am missing my Kroger Fred Meyer shopping, but that'll be back next week. So what you're gonna see today is my haul from Walmart. I did run by Trader Joe's to pick up some light shredded mozzarella, so I'll show you that. And then I also found another French twist flavor that I wanna show you guys. So if you wanna see what I picked up, for this week for groceries and my meal plan at the end for the week. Stay tuned. So here is my Walmart grocery haul. I did pick up some beverages, which I will show you at the end, but this is everything that I picked up for this week. So let me show you everything I grabbed. So I have been loving the Califia Farms almond milk. This almond milk is so good. In my opinion, it is way better than the almond breeze or any of those other almond milks. I really like the coconut almond milk blend. Delicious, creamy. I love adding this to coffee. This is even good poured over your pro granola from Julian Bakery. So I picked up another container of almond milk. I actually ordered one pound of 96.4 extra lean ground beef. They were out, so they substituted 2.25 pounds. So I will take it. I paid $5.47 for 2.25 pounds of lean ground beef. That is one perk of grocery pickup. I also grabbed my all-time favorite Happy Eggs. After using several other brands of the more expensive eggs, I am finding that I really enjoy Happy Egg the best. So I grabbed a dozen of those. And then I also grabbed 18 white eggs. The kid in me is so excited for that. So I picked up some white eggs. I also grabbed some Canadian bacon. I'm going to be using this in my lunch prep for the week. I'm really excited for my lunch recipe. Stay tuned for the end of the video to see my meal plan. I also grabbed a brown sugar double glazed ham. This is actually for Easter dinner. I will put the points on the screen even though I will not be tracking on Easter. That is actually the day that I've decided to go ahead and use my weeklies. So this ham is for Easter. Picked up another container of my Hershey's whipped topping. I love this stuff. Zero smart points. And it is so good. I love having it mixed in parfaits just for that little bit of added extra chocolate. I also grabbed some Swanson chicken broth for an upcoming dinner recipe. I've never purchased this before. My Walmart never has it. When I saw it on grocery pickup, I had to grab a tub. This is the Oreo mix-ins. And you can have, if my camera will, wants to focus, there, come on little guy, there we go. Two tablespoons for 35 calories, so I believe it's one point. So two tablespoons of the Oreo mixins for one point, not bad. I also grabbed another two pack of the Lipton onion soup mix. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. Another pack of mesquite marinade mix. I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and marinate some chicken just to have on hand for salads and things. And I hear that this mesquite is the best, so I grabbed that. Another container of the Velveeta shreds. I really like this cheese. It has a great authentic cheese flavor. Way more of a cheesy texture than the fat-free. And for two smart points, it's not bad. I'll usually mix this with fat-free cheese to save on points, but I do really actually enjoy the Velveeta shreds. And speaking of cheese, the reason I stopped at Trader Joe's was to grab three packages of the light shredded mozzarella. I'd about die if I run out of this, so I went ahead and picked up three packages. A lot of you have asked if this freezes well, and yes, this freezes phenomenally. So if you don't have a Trader Joe's nearby or you just wanna stock up, you can definitely freeze the light shredded mozzarella. I also saw this on Walmart pickup. This is rosemary, but this is actually the rosemary grinder so it's fresh rosemary and then when you actually go to use it in a recipe it grinds it fresh 
which I think is super cool. It was pretty inexpensive. I want to say less than three dollars. It's for a big container. It's 1.4 ounces, so that's a lot of rosemary. I also picked up a can of pineapple tidbits. This is for my lunch meal prep for the week. Four cans of cut green beans, wild guess. These are, I rinse them to get all the salt off, put them in a little storage container, keep them in the fridge, and with every meal, my dogs get a couple of green beans. So I grabbed four cans of that. Also, from Target, I grabbed another flavor of the French Twist. So these are the wild raspberry. I love the cinnamon ones, but I wanted to give these wild raspberry French twists a try as well. These are one smart point for one or two smart points for two. They are delicious. I do have these linked down in my Amazon store below. I also picked up a can of solid white tuna. This is for my husband. He decided he wanted tuna sandwiches for lunch this next week. These are also for my husband. Now, granted, I love green olives as well, but my husband is obsessed. So I picked up a big container of green olives for him to have for snacks. I also picked up a can of the Healthy Request Cream of Mushroom. This is for a dinner recipe. And if you are not aware, the Cream of Mushroom, the Healthy Request, is actually less smart points than the 98% fat free. And in my opinion, it's creamier, has better flavor. So I highly recommend the Healthy Request soups. I also grabbed two more extracts because I like to use these in my coffee. I know that sounds weird, but they're zero points and a little bit goes a long way. So I grabbed some peppermint so I can make some peppermint mochas. And then I also grabbed almond, which is one of my favorites. Worcestershire sauce, I was completely out. I used the last of it in my shepherd's pie recipe. So I picked that up. And then I found this finally at my Walmart. This is the G Hughes sugar-free honey mustard. I'm a honey mustard fanatic, so I'm super excited that I can have it for zero points. So check your local Walmart for the G Hughes products. That's where I seem to find the majority. I actually have the ketchup, the teriyaki, the honey mustard, and the barbecue sauce. They are all phenomenal. Picked up a bag of the Dynamic Duo Little Potato Company. This is for a recipe this week. The rest of what I have to show you is produce. So I have two zucchinis for a dinner recipe, a red pepper for a dinner recipe, strawberries. I'm feeling some strawberries, so I'm going to have those as one of my fruits for the week. And then I also grabbed some grapes, which is going to be my second fruit for the week, a red onion for recipe. So I ordered a bundle of cilantro and a bundle of Italian parsley. But as you can see, I graciously got two bundles of cilantro. So I have cilantro coming out my ears. So not sure what I'm going to do with it all, but it is actually in one of my dinner recipes. Two big things of asparagus. This is actually for Easter dinner. I'm going to roast some asparagus. Excited for that. Grab some broccoli florets for snacking. My husband and I like to dip this in the Skinny Kitchen Ranch. So good. I picked up a container of cremini mushrooms. This is for a dinner recipe. And then some baby carrots, again, for snacking to dip in the ranch. And lastly, I picked up some beverages. I'm pretty sure I ordered a case of water, which I did not get. So as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to be checking my Walmart order. But I picked up the peach bubbly. I really like having the seltzer waters at work. I have these with my lunch. It just kind of cures that sweet treat for me with lunch. So I've never tried the peach. I'm excited about that. Diet Coke for my husband. And then this week I decided to go with Coke Zero Sugar Cherry. So those are some of the beverages that I picked up. So now let's go over my meal plan for the week. Of course, I'm using my Carrie L meal planner. As you guys know, I absolutely love this meal planner. I am obsessed with it. I honestly believe it's the best meal planner on the market. So it is at shopcarryl.com. I do have a discount code. I'll put that here on the screen. It is down in the description box as well. It will save you 10%, which is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and get moving right into the meal plan for the week. So this is my weekly menu. So I go Saturday to Friday. So Saturday the 20th through Friday the 26th. So Saturday, like I mentioned, is Easter dinner. It is a no tracking day for me. Sunday, we are on the road heading to Seattle. Same with Monday. So this week's What I Ate Wednesday is actually going to be filmed on Monday. You're going to see a little bit of our travels back from Seattle. My husband actually sees the doctor on Monday. So my What I Eat is going to be a little weird, but it'll be kind of fun to see a little bit of on the road What I Eat. Tuesday, I'm going to be making chicken parm in my air fryer. I'm so excited about this with some fries and some veggies. 
Wednesday, I'm going to be making chimmy curry beef and rice. I am so excited for that too. I'm kind of feeling some red meat. So I'm going to go ahead and do some chimmy curry beef rice and veggies. This sounds amazing. This is a chicken and wild rice casserole. That is what I'm going to make on Thursday. And then Friday, we are going to grill out. So I'm going to be doing steak kebabs with rice aroni and grilled veggies. I, we are major kebab people. So I will definitely be filming this because I do want to do an on the grill series uh, for summer recipes. So I'll be filming our steak kebabs and show you how I make the marinade. Super excited about that. And then what I normally do is use the grocery list that is tear offable on the carry out meal planner, which I did to plan my Walmart grocery pickup. And then on the back side of where I actually plan my menu, the back side is where I plan my meal prep. So my meals this week sound so good. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making coconut berry overnight oats. I'm going to be using the tone it up coconut powder that I showed you in my little target haul. I'm going to have some eggs and some fruit. This I cannot wait for. For lunches this week, I'm actually going to be having Hawaiian pizza bagel bites. I only have to prep for four days, but I cannot wait for those four days of lunches. And I'm going to have some veggies with that. So you'll see breakfast and lunch and meal prep. I'm also super excited to be making berry muffins with chocolate chips, or in other words, AKA chocolate covered strawberry muffins. So excited for these. I'm gonna take some of these with us when we travel. It'll just help stay on track in the mornings and it'll be a nice sweet treat or a snack throughout our travels because they won't have to be refrigerated. So that is what is on my meal prep plan. And then of course, what is on my weekly menu plan. But you know, I love my carry -all meal planner. So if you're looking for a fantastic way to plan your meals, make sure you check this out in the description box below. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the good stuff that I picked up some new food finds, which is super exciting. And I hope you're excited to see my meal plan for this next week because the majority of those recipes will be featured in upcoming videos. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you subscribe, hit that little bell. That'll notify you every time I upload a new video. Give this one a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what is on your meal plan for the week and what you thought of all my new food finds and if there are things that are new to you as well. And I'll see you guys in my next video.